time, leisure time. Did you ever stop to think how much leisure time you really have? Some of us put our leisure time to good use. And some of us, Ken Michaels, for example, spend most of our leisure time just moping. Moping? He thinks I'm moping. Well, who wouldn't mope? There's nothing to do, nobody's around. You know how it is. I went down to the bowling alley, went over to the drugstore. None of the gang was there. All my friends are busy, so what's for me to do? Do you suppose Ken has more leisure time than his friends do? Huh? Well, no, I don't have more time. We all spend about the same amount of time in school, and the rest is leisure time. I've got nothing to do but wait for supper. My friends have more things to do. They're lucky. Ken's pretty lucky, too. Listen to that. All right, I'll bite. Why am I lucky? Because you have so much leisure time. Time in which you can do things you enjoy. Time in which you don't have to work. Like this, huh? Is that good? Let me show you a few things. Suppose you had lived a hundred years ago. What would you have been like? Take a look. Where? Oh, is that me? Is that what I would have looked like a hundred years ago? Well, perhaps. But now, well, let's look back a hundred years again and see someone else. Who? Hey, that's my dad. Young man, you get off that bed and get to work. After you clean out the stable, you can build some new steps for the back porch. While I work 72 hours a week, no son of mine is going to loaf. 72 hours? 12 hours a day, six days a week. Tomorrow morning, young man, you're going out to get a regular job. You can work too, and earn your keep. Not so good, Ken. Well, let's try another picture. Say, about 50 years ago. Oh, hello, son. Well, say, I've got some new pictures for the stereoscope. We'll look at them tonight. Don't forget about your chores. Have them all done by the time I'm through work. And keep the wood box full. Boy, how long will you work, Dad? Why, 10 hours. 10 hours a day, every day except Sunday. 60 hours a week? Boy. Well, Ken, let's take a look at your father's time as it really is today. Hi, Dad. You sure don't work as long hours as they used to. That's right, Ken. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do so much work in so little time. This 40 hour a week suits me fine. And some people even work shorter hours nowadays. By the way, Ken, how would you like to play a quick round of golf before supper? I think we can work it in. And then later, I'd like to select that new bookcase I'm making. Well, Ken? Yes, Dad does enjoy his leisure time. And to think that a few years ago, people didn't have nearly so much time to themselves. Yes, we've gained a lot of leisure time in the last century or so. All of us. Wait a minute. All of us? Mother should hear you say that. She's always complaining that she doesn't have enough time. Well, let's see about that. Can you picture your mother as she might have been 50 years ago? I guess so. Why, that's hard work. It takes so much time, too. But that's woman's lot in life. Scrub clothes, carry water, bake bread, feed the chickens. Till time to go to bed and then get up again to start all over. You see, Ken? Now, how about today? My, this new washer certainly is a time saver. And I do need some extra time. Now, let's see, I want to do some shopping, but this first. Wait a minute. This may be easier work, but it still looks like work. Oh, well, I have to plan the program for the women's club next month. 
That's one of my favorite activities, you know. It does keep me busy, but, oh, that's not work. What do you think, Ken? Well, Mother does have more leisure time now. But still, she's always busy. How does she find so many things to do? How can I find something to do with my extra time? Or for that matter, what about you? I don't know. It seems as if leisure time is a problem. Well, let's see how your friends have met that problem. I told him once my friends were all busy. Oh. Busy. They have something to do with their time. Let's see. Last I saw Dave, he was headed that away. You mean this way? Yes. Dave has a hobby of identifying birds. It's a pleasant way of spending his time, and besides, it helps him with some of his schoolwork. You can learn quite a bit from hobbies. Here's Bill. Some of his leisure time is spent doing part-time work at the bookstore. Along with earning some spending money, he's getting experience that will help him later on. And Alice is devoting some of her leisure to learning to sew. That's something she'll be glad she did when she's older. And right now, she gets a big kick out of it. Here's the way Marge spends some of her leisure time. She's learning to play the piano. She's getting a lot of pleasure from her own accomplishment. And she's acquiring a skill that will help her socially. And some of the fellows spend their time in group activities that are building them up physically, as well as providing them with a lot of fun. So that's what they're all doing. No wonder I couldn't find them. Hmm. I'll bet you think I should figure out something to do with my time. The question is, how will I know it's the right kind of thing? How will I know I'm using my time well? Your father mentioned a bookcase he was making, didn't he? Remember how he worked at it last night? Mr. Michaels, you gain three important things from your hobby, don't you? Do I? All I know is... This is a pleasant change for my work, and I'm learning a few things. Someday, when I get more time, I'm going to make new furniture for the whole house. Well, there you are. Do you see now, Ken? I think so. A good use of leisure time should give you a change. It should help you learn things, and... Well, I'm not sure about the third. It's a good idea to have a long-range goal for your leisure time activities. But it isn't always easy to find a single occupation that will give you all three values. Then you should have more than one activity? It does help. Of course, even one thing to do is better than just moping. For instance, swimming is a pleasant change, a lot of fun, and a chance to build yourself up physically. And what about reading? There's a leisure time activity that will help you learn things you'd like to know about many subjects. And this hobby could have a long-range goal, perhaps a job in the air. I get it. You know, I took some pictures once. Yeah, I got a camera for Christmas. Let's see, what did I do with it? Around here somewhere. And I gotta straighten this place up too. Oh, here it is. You know, photography ought to make a good hobby for me. Yeah, might even want to make a business out of it someday. Thanks. Well, what about it? Will photography give Ken a change? Can he learn while doing it? and perhaps prepare himself for better living? Will he have a long-range goal to give him satisfaction? And what might be some good uses for your leisure time? Will you let time slip away from you? Or will you use it well?